Good evening, micro followers. So today, while I was out doing chores, I discovered a hen. She wasn't quite acting herself. Very lethargic. I noticed yesterday she was kind of slow, just here and there pecking around. It's Kelly. And uh, today, she refused eggs. She refused corn. She wasn't eating, wasn't interested when I uh, put fresh water in the bowl. She's kind of hunched over and got her neck tucked in. Pretty sure we're dealing with an egg-bound hen. Not sure if she started laying yet. She's one of my younger ones. So here we have a tub of <clears throat> Epsom salt water. It's warm water. Um, <clears throat> generally what's ideal is plain Epsom salt. They only had um, the eucalyptus or coconut oil and because I will be administering oil to the vent area I figured if I had to go with one that coconut oil would be my best option um, my secondary so what's gonna happen here is I'm gonna go out and get Kelly bring her in the first thing I'm going to do is administer some calcium uh, orally and that is to help with quote-unquote contractions because usually an egg-bound hen will be bearing down really hard uh, but because the egg is stuck nothing happens so you want to very first give them a calcium supplement <clears throat> I left it in the kitchen but anyways um <clears throat> you see the capsule in here it's got calcium it's liquid calcium I'm going to try to put the capsule into her mouth and squeeze the calcium in there and if that doesn't work I have uh, one capsule as you can see above that that's emptied that I will water down and use a syringe <clears throat> Again, coconut oil is usually best, but I don't have any, so I have a little bit of olive oil right here. You can use olive oil or vegetable oil. And what I will be doing is, with gloved, oiled hands, I will be inserting two fingers, and I will put the syringe there and inject oil into the vent, and that will help lubricate the area. And hopefully, within the hour, she will pass the egg. And unfortunately, if she does not pass the egg within the hour, then there's nothing left that I can do for her. So, I'm going to pause the video, and I'm going to go out and get her. Cross your fingers. Okay. You want to be very, very careful while handling a chicken that might be egg-bound. Because the last thing you want to do is break that egg. That was the hardest thing. Trying to get my shoes, my poop boots off. My shoes back on all while holding a chicken. Okay. So as you can see, she's not really putting up much of a fight. So she's obviously not feeling very well. And sorry, I'm trying to catch my breath. As I mentioned before, we're going to try to go ahead and get some calcium in her because that's the first thing that we want to try and do to get some pushing started. So she's not going to, she's not interested in it on her own. <laughs> But she hasn't been interested much in food anyway, so. I don't want to stress you out, baby. But I need you to open. Whoops, almost. Almost. <laughs> Not one little tiny swallow. There we go. There we go. Girl. Yeah. That a girl. And see, she's still not putting up much of a fight. She just doesn't have it in her. She's not feeling well. That a girl. Don't worry. Hopefully, we'll get this taken care of, honey. Hopefully, we'll get you taken care of. Okay, so here comes the fun part. The fun part, I mean, like, totally not fun part. I'm going to put some oil in this syringe right here and we're going to try to insert this the event <laughs> okay there we go there we go be 
very, very careful not to um, push too much on the abdomen. I'm going to apply oil on the outside first. And I don't know how much of this you can see in the camera, but the vent is pulsating, which is a surefire sign of stress going on in that area. So we'll get it all over the outside there. And we just got lots of dry poop there. So this bath is definitely going to help in that area. Okay. Now we're going to re-up on our oil here. Sorry, I'm not trying to breathe into the camera. I promise. I don't know if you guys can see any of this. I apologize if you can't. I'm stepping you along just in case. All right, so. Sorry, baby. <laughs> I know. Here we go, and oil in. There we go. Okay. There we go. Now we're going to gently place her into the tub. This is, like I said, just warm water. And this is going to help her relax. Most chickens that are egg bound will not fight you on this because it feels really good. Let's get you up here, baby, so your butt's in the water. There you go. This is kind of the boring part. This is where we just, you know, let the chicken marinate for about a half an hour. Some people will say 15 minutes, but I have come to find that the last egg bound hen that I had, um, I soaked her for 15 minutes for three days and she did not make it. So we're gonna go a half an hour and hopefully, hopefully, within the hour, she will pass an egg. So I'm gonna pause the video, that way you guys don't have to sit through all that. And then we will resume, hopefully, when some action happens. This is usually about the time where you wish you would have brought in some kind of entertainment or a drink, something. Four minutes have gone by and I've got myself locked in the bathroom with an egg bound hen sitting in an Epsom bath. <laughs> now, I'm sure you guys probably can't tell, but because I have a close up of her. She is starting to bear down gently and I'm starting to see oil surfacing in the water which means that her bearing down is working the oil back out of the vent and hopefully if we're lucky um, and that calcium kicks in good enough uh, quick enough that we can actually get this egg to pop out uh, with that bearing down. Now, I don't know if, if a hen has ever popped the egg out into the water or not. Um, the videos that I've watched usually is um, after they remove the hen from the water and then just put her in a safe, warm place where she feels comfortable and no threats, not loud noises or, or quick movements or anything. Um, just pretty much doing what you can to make sure the hen stays completely comfortable and calm, which you can't see, but behind me I have one of my rabbit cages and I've laid a really thick uh, bath towel in the bottom of it. I was going to bring hay in, but the hay that I got is uh, from a local farm and I got to thinking, maybe overthinking, but still, I don't really want to bring that stuff in my house just in case there's anything in there. So um, I can tell right now already, and it has been 15 minutes, that she is already more aware. She is moving her head around and is more aware of her surroundings than she has been in the last two days. So between her checking out the surroundings, the oil that is surfacing to the top of the water and being able to see her physically trying to um, pass an egg, these are all good signs. So keep up the good work, Kelly. You're doing a great job, girl. We're in your corner. We're rooting for you. So I'm just going to let this play out for a few minutes. 
she actually had a couple good pushes. So I'm going to let this play out for a few minutes just in case you guys can, can see what I'm talking about. You're doing good, baby girl. Kelly is one of my hatches from last year when Gretchen and uh, Fifi hatched out a dozen eggs that I had purchased from somebody in uh, a city nearby. And um, she had like the largest assortment of barnyard mixes. Look at this. Well, hello, pretty girl. There's some bearing down going on right there. Yeah, there, nice girl, that's good. Good job, baby. And uh, so we don't really know exactly what breed of barnyard mix Kelly is. My educated guess is um, Easter Acre because of the patterns. Nope, nope, stay in there. Sorry. Because of the pattern uh, in her feathering and she's got a little bit of the poofy cheeks just a little around her cheeks and her eyes and then the coloring reminds me of my brown leghorn that i had when um, mission to micro farming started at the schoolhouse so um, that's like i said just an educated guess on her breed she is already acting more lively she is standing up and as you can tell she's a little more alert and that cute little attempt to jump out of the bucket means that her pain must be relieving. I keep peeking into the bucket. There is no egg in there. But I do believe at this point, because she is completely standing, that she does not have her bottom in the water anymore. So we're going to take a quick peek in here. Now back down in there, baby. Just relax. Just relax. Need you in there a little bit longer. <laughs> no, she seems to be doing surprisingly well. She is standing up with her behind out of the water. I'm not sure at this point how much good it's going to do to keep her in the bucket, in the container. Girl, it's not a very long soak. I think we're gonna we're gonna push for ten more minutes. Okay, so this little firecracker has tried to get out two more times since I paused the video. So I would think that she's uh, feeling pretty good. So I am gloving back up. I'm gonna take her out and put her in this rabbit cage that I have behind me and we're going to put her on the floor of the bathroom we've got a our bathroom gets so hot because it's rather small um, and the floor vent right there directs shoots out across the bathroom floor so we're gonna put her in front of that nice warm air and I will start the timer in about three minutes and we're gonna come back and check on her every now and then and hopefully Within the hour, we'll have an egg.